Hey guys, what's up? Hope all is well, and welcome back to another quick production tip on every Thursday that we're doing. Uh, this week I just want to quickly discuss how to approach getting a Jack U snare. Um, I know a lot of people love these style snares simply because of how unique they are, and that's what I want to point out today. When you're sound designing or uh, sifting through samples while you're trying to find the right one, remember to keep in mind that these style snares work because they're super unique. They're outside the box and they're not a standard snare sound. So let's dive right in so uh, we can understand how to get a little bit more of a Jack U sound. So as you can see here, we have two snare sounds. Uh, the first one selected is an 808, traditional style sounding snare. Now you can find this snare anywhere, uh, battery, contact, um, Native Instruments has a lot of kits. Even you, you probably even have them in your own DAW in the drum sequencer that's available. So that's the first thing I always look for. And that's a traditional 808. That's kind of the fatter part that's gonna be hitting in the snare. But the main unique part that you hear from Jack U is a non-traditional snare sounding. Something a little more wooden, something a little more metallic or um, less snare sounding, but it's still a percussion hit. And that's the one you're hearing right here. So that's really not a snare sound. And that's what I mean at the beginning of the videos. Try to sift through samples that don't that are kind of non-traditional and then glue them together with a traditional snare such as the 808. But the main thing Jack U is doing to get that little bit of uh, swing and, and punch to their snares is they're offsetting, uh, also known as a pre-delay. Uh, sometimes you can put a snare before that two and four if you wanna move it over to the left a little bit, but traditionally they take a percussion hit and kind of shift it over very slightly so it's delayed. So that's kind of something they're doing. Now again, reach out to different sample packs that have nice wooden sounds or something non-traditional to approach getting that uh, pre-delay sound. Now you can throw a little bit of reverb on that pre-delay sound to give it a little bit more room or a little more tail. I do something a little shorter. Uh, we can mess with this here. And I don't really want the reverb tail carrying over into the other one because then it's going to kind of double up. I want it to be a shorter, punchy, almost like a short plate. So you can see how it's having a little more body. And then I'd simply just uh, bust those over, give them a little bit of compression. Um, for this example, I'll just use the 2500. I love using this, um, this one here. And you want to kind of go for the compression until you're starting to lose that dynamic of that 808. Uh, start to back off on the threshold a little bit because then you're really just squashing it and losing it. You still want to keep the punch because the 808 is the most important part for it to kind of feed off of that 2 and 4 uh, to give that snare punch because without a, that 808, this per kit is going to be a little bit lighter. So that's uh, a quick tip on uh, approaching a Jack U snare. Again, be really selective with your samples and find something unique and non-traditional and outside the box for that per kit, and you'll really start creating something fun and exciting. We'll see you guys next Thursday. Hopefully you enjoyed.